What's going on, everybody? It's May the 4th. If you didn't know, that means it's May the 4th be with you. As in, you know, may the force be with you. It's a, it's a big holiday for Star Wars. Usually everyone's happy about Star Wars. Usually there's toys coming out. It's a big celebration. Announcements once in a while get made. Seems though today nobody really cares. Because there's been so much damage done to the series. I went to Twitter. There's several hashtags that you can use to check... So they have, you know, may the fourth be with you and so on and so on. Uh, you know the official ones because the official hashtags have two crossed uh, lightsaber hilts, like kind of doing a cross like they're, you know, dueling blades. And the only people that seem to be tweeting about it are blue check marks. I don't see very many regular people excited or talking about Star Wars which would be an indi- a big indicator considering most people are locked up and, and stuff. So, you know, just about everybody's social media presence has kind of gotten a little hard, like a little higher because of everything going on. I think that that's normal because there's not much else to do. Uh, but there's no excitement. The excitement's just not there. It's very underwhelming. Just people just don't care. There's been so much damage done to this series. And as everyone knows, this all started with The Last Jedi. All started with The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi was a disaster for the fan base. Split the fan base down the middle. So you've got a fractured fan base. What do we do? We double down on that. Call the people that didn't like it. It's the phobes for two years. For two years, you have a civil war of the fandom. And then they try to redeem it with Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, in my opinion, is a disaster because everybody hated it. Nobody liked it, really. A couple of shills liked it. And a couple of people just generally liked it, which is fine if you, if you did like it. To me, it was a very underwhelming film. It just, like the entire Disney trilogy, had no soul, I guess is a good way to say it. So all it did was make everyone that liked The Last Jedi angry and the people that didn't like The Last Jedi, uh, they got angry as well. Uh, They tried their best, I feel, to make everybody happy in that film, and it just ended up backfiring and making nobody happy. You had a little bit of redemption with The Mandalorian, which was an excellent series. And then the final season of Clone Wars has been pretty good, except from what I understand, wasn't that already completed and they just finished it? Well, like the storyboarding and stuff, wasn't it mostly done and they just finished it? I'm not, I'm kind of confused on that one. I think they just finished what was already existing. So really, that's technically, if I'm right there, I could be I could be wrong, but if I'm right, because I remember some stuff coming out where they showed what was going to happen, because there's been comparisons and things that got censored out in some episodes, like the Padme on the side of the spaceship making Anakin jealous. If that's correct, then that's pre-Disney Lucas, which would explain why that that's pretty good. But what happens, you know, they double down on some stuff. You got that High Republic thing coming out, which is going to be a disaster. Because all of the all of the people attached to it are a bunch of super super blue haired NPCs, and then of course let's not forget about Leslie Highlands, Headlands, uh, <laughs> female centric soap opera CW Arrowverse Star Wars coming out whenever that comes out. So for the most part, people are underwhelmed. In fact, there was an announcement today, a uh, Taika Watiti to direct new Star Wars film. Now, on the surface, this is actually pretty good news for a couple of reasons. I think Taika Waititi could make a good... I think he could make a good Star Wars film. I do. Uh, I'm willing to give him a shot. They have a good writer. 1917 writer Christy Wilson will pen the script with him. Uh, That's a great combination, in in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if you haven't seen 1917. I think you should check it out. It's a fantastic film. Really good film. Really well done. Uh, in my opinion, well written. I think uh, that's that's great. That's great. I think these two could put together a fun movie. You know, will it will it be good? That remains to be seen. But I think I think this is a good combination. But I'm looking around and there's, there's nobody really excited about it. I feel like that Leslie Headland announcement really took the wind out of a lot of people. Just 
the way they framed it as female centric and all the stuff, just more the same, like things aren't going to change, you know, I think this is good news though. I think Taika Waititi could do a good movie. And I really like that writer. Only time will tell how that works out, but I find the lack of excitement behind this pretty telling, you know, and then we still don't even know about Kathleen Kennedy. Where's Kathleen Kennedy? Is she around? Is she going to be, is she going to pick things back up? You know, I think she's not going to go without a fight. She likes that powerful position and I don't think she wants to leave. That's why she snuck out the Leslie Headland information You know, it's kind of a middle finger to the bobs. And it just keeps getting worse. So Taika Waititi and a good writer attached to a new film. Now, one one thing that I picked up right away about this is you think they would have announced a new Ryan Johnson movie. They still have not really talked about that, which I find amusing. But they haven't officially said that he's not involved in a movie, which is still kind of confusing as well to me. So you haven't really talked about it, but you haven't said he's not involved. It's almost like they don't want to upset that half of the fan base that's in love with that trash movie. Man, people will just go to town for that garbage movie. So we get this announcement, no Ryan Johnson announcements. A couple things about this movie is... It's not said to be a trilogy, and we don't have any details. Now, you think they would have announced he gets a new trilogy. This still, to be clear, could be a trilogy. We don't know. We don't know any details. All they've said is he's attached to direct, and she's writing it. We can go over some of them right now. Taika Waititi is officially headed to a galaxy far, far away. The filmmaker behind Thor Ragnarok and Jojo Rabbit will direct and co-write a new Star Wars movie for theatrical release. Now, a thing there is to say is theatrical release. So it's not going to Disney plus it's not going to be, you know, any straight to home thing. This is going into the theaters, which is a big announcement. Uh, So continuing Oscar nominated 1917 writer, Christy Wilson will pen the script with Watiti in January. The Hollywood reporter broke the news that Lucasfilm was courting him for a star Wars film, which I believe I did cover. A lot of people talked about that. I remember most people thought that it would it would work. I like it a lot better than Ryan Johnson. Uh, from what I understand, he doesn't run around, you know, calling everybody istophobes. And for the most part, I think, you know, Thor Ragnarok was a pretty good film. Felt kind of, you know, it was kind of sci-fi stuff in there. So I think he could do it. We'll see. You know, it's it's we'll see. He did direct some Mandalorian stuff which worked. So he's got experience with star Wars. Now I think he could do a good job. All we can do is wait and see what happens. Uh, no release date has been set for the project, which was announced on starwars.com to coincide with May the 4th, the unofficial holiday celebrating all things star Wars. Uh, he won an Oscar for Jojo rabbit has a full and has a full schedule. He already shot the upcoming searchlight pictures, soccer film, next goal wins and has Ragnarok follow up Thor love and thunder due out February 11th, 2022. From Marvel Studios, he cut his teeth in the Star Wars world by directing the season one finale of Disney Plus's The Mandalorian and voicing the droid IG-11. So that final episode was really good, in my opinion, for The Mandalorian. So, you know, I think he can do a good job. I do. And, you know, maybe that will be the start of something good. But then it comes right off with this news right here. In addition... To this news, Disney and Lucasfilm also confirmed Monday that Russian doll co-creator Leslie Headland will serve as showrunner for Disney Plus streaming series set in the Star Wars galaxy. The female-centric show, which I'd like to point out is not, <laughs> is not anywhere in this article. I think they're trying to distance themselves from that term which would be smart to do, in my opinion, would be smart to do. Either way, the damage to that show is already done. I believe there's been some rumors that came out from Midnight's Edge and some other people that people are furious that that show got announced and it was done by 
Kathleen Kennedy and when she went over everyone's head to do it. Um, I believe that that could probably be true, but it really does show that the Bobs are punks. They don't step up to her. She can really pretty much do whatever she wants. You think that there would have been discipline for that, you know, but as far as we can tell, nothing's happened. And I don't think anyone, anything's going to happen. We still have the day left for announcements, by the way, this is coming out at this time. I've been recording this around 2 PM Eastern standard time. So there could be more announcements. We'll see what happens. But for the most part, excitement for this series is to me dead. I didn't even really see a lot of excitement for the Clone Wars stuff. I saw some people talking about it that were pretty excited. And for the most part, especially that last episode, was pretty fantastic. Really great to get a final a final episode to that series. But for the most part, excitement has never been lower. A lot of people are just walking away and just don't care. And I just find that I, I just wonder if the damage that's been done to this series is irreversible. Anyway. No Ryan Johnson. That's a good thing. Kathleen Kennedy still in charge. That's a bad thing. This announcement is good. But then, you know, we have another announcement with the Leslie Headland stuff, which is trash. I, they just don't know what they're doing with this, <laughs> with this series. We'll see what happens. I think this series, this movie could be good. And then we have Mandalorian 2 coming out. So we'll see what happens. But... I've just noticed there's just not many people excited about it. Last year, there were memes all over the place. It seemed like there was a little bit of love left. This year, not much. Nothing but an empty soul and blue check marks. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me your thoughts. Do you think Star Wars is done? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you would, throw a like up. I would appreciate that. And share the video. I would appreciate that. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.